so the combi plan wasn't bad. I had it about 10 years. You can see there's a crack that developed. It wasn't causing light leaks, but it certainly was leaking chemistry. And it worked okay. I mean, it, it just seemed like a lot of parts. Um, a lot of just stuff when you're in a dark room trying to load this thing. you got to be really careful removing these guides. Eh. So this is the Yankee Agitank. And you can see that the film really sits in there really nicely. I'm very, very pleased. With the combi plan, it would be 36 ounces to do six sheets of 4x5. But with the Yankee, you can get 12 sheets of 4x5 and use 55 ounces. So it's a substantial saving overall in chemistry. I do like the lid a lot better on the combi plan. It's kind of more of a rubberized and it fits on there really snugly and you can agitate like you're used to. With the Yankee, it's really dicey. I mean, the lid just sits on there. It doesn't fasten at all. So even if you throw too much water in there, the pressure is probably going to raise the lid. But washing it, especially with the hose, is just a no-brainer. Um, just walk away. I'm not overly thrilled with this little loading guide. I mean, it's okay. Uh, it seems like they could have done more to make the little ridges snap a little better. You have to navigate this middle one. It's a little tricky in the dark. But since I only have, you know, three holders, so that's six sheets, I have to kind of devise this system of, oh, it's an empty box that I keep, you know, the extra six in. This almost looks like a TIE fighter. Um, it's hard to do with one hand holding the phone, but you can make this, you know, so you can have different formats. But I'll only do 4x5, at least until the fall. I say until fall because I back that intrepid Kickstarter. Uh, I'll get an 8x10 camera. I'll definitely do film with it, but I also want to stop doing wet plate on my 4x5 and do that on 8x10.